Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at a really simple first order differential equation that we can solve by separating. Now, since this is our first problem, let's make sure you understand what a separable equation is. We have here the general form of a first order differential equation, the derivative dy over dx equals some function of x and y. Now, if that function of x and y on the right hand side can be split apart or separated into an x function times a y function or divided by a y function, then we can split apart or separate into this form here, a function of y times dy equals a function of x times dx, where we're basically separating the derivative dy over dx into individual differentials. Now, once you have it in this form, which is what we're gonna be calling the form of a separable equation, you can solve that by integrating both sides. Integrate the left side with respect to y, and then integrate the right side with respect to x. All right, now let's go to our differential equation. This one separates very easily, since we can kind of do some basic algebra with fractions. First step, I always like to multiply both sides by dx. Now, I wanna caution you, be careful, dy over dx is not a fraction. dy over dx is the derivative. It's not a fraction, but it makes some of the algebra easier. And in fact, it's gonna to connect to some other ideas you'll see soon in your differential equations course. So let's go ahead and pretend that that is a fraction. I'm gonna multiply both sides by dx. So that'll cancel out on the left side. And then we'll get x squared y squared divided by y plus one times dx. All right, now we split apart the derivative into individual differentials, but this is not properly separated since we have a combination of x and y multiplying our differential dx. Well, this is no problem. Notice I can take the y squared divided by y plus one, multiply both sides by the reciprocal, and it will cancel out on the right side. If it's easier, think of multiplying y plus one over and then dividing y squared. So we should get to here, y plus one divided by y squared times dy, and then equals x squared times dx. And this is now properly separated. Now to make some of the integrations a little bit easier, notice here I can divide y by y squared and then one by y squared. And if we do that, I'm gonna write this side as one over y, one factor of y cancels out. And then here, one divided by y squared. To integrate that, let me write that as y to the negative two. And we're gonna keep the right side the same as x squared dx. All right, from here, we're gonna integrate both sides. Left side, we're gonna integrate with respect to y. And the right side, we integrate with respect to x. All right, and from here, you should be able to recognize your antiderivatives. One over y, that's gonna to integrate to natural log of y. And for y to the negative two, we can apply the power rule. Add one to the exponent, that'll give you y to the negative one, and then divide by the new exponent. And it's worth pointing out, because we're finding an antiderivative here, Usually we would include a plus C, but we only need to include one constant of integration on one of the sides. I always like to include the constant of integration on the X side. And the reason for that, if you have a constant on this side, a constant on that side, you can subtract. A constant minus a constant is another constant. So let's include our plus C when we integrate with respect to X, which would give us one third X cubed plus C. All right, and that is basically it. Um, I can clean that up and write that as one over Y if I want to, to write our left side as natural log of Y minus one over Y. And then the right side will remain the same, one third X cubed plus C. And that is basically your solution. Now, this is what's sometimes called an implicit solution.
where basically what we call an implicit solution, it's a solution or equation not solved for y in terms of x. Now, some equations you can actually solve for y. This one's going to be rather difficult. So in terms of our solution, that's probably as best of a form as we can put it. So we're basically done. However, notice we have, in addition to our differential equation, we have an initial condition. And that's going to allow us to determine the value of c. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to use the initial condition to determine c. All right, and if you take a look at the notation here, when we write this, y of 0 equals 1, the notation here is indicating we're thinking of y as a function of x. So the input here is telling us our x value is 0. And then the output, that's your y value. So in other words, when we plug in x is 0 and y is 1, we should be able to determine the value of c. All right, so let's go ahead to our solution. I'm going to write that down again. Natural log of y minus 1 over y, and then equals 1 third x cubed plus c. All right, so we're going to take our time. We're going to plug in everywhere x is 0. And with that, we plug in simultaneously y as 1. All right, if we go ahead and write that out, we're going to get natural log of 1 minus 1 over 1, which is 1. And then on the right side, plugging in x is 0, x cubed, when x is 0, that just becomes 0. So we get on the right side 0 plus c. And hopefully, from your knowledge from previous calculus courses, you recall the value for natural log of 1. That's 0. So what we get here is very simply negative 1 equals c. And that is our value for the integration constant. So let's just write it down. The full solution, where we just basically plug back in our value for c. So we have the solution already that we found. Natural log of y minus 1 over y equals 1 third x cubed. But now we plug back in, we found the value of c was negative 1, and we just put that there. And there we go. Again, this one was very simple. It's our first separable equation that we're going to solve. And definitely make sure you understand the basic algebra of how you go from your differential equation into the separable form here. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do like and subscribe.